Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I found this little hot plate today. It's got a dint in it. It's um, a little bit beat up, but a hot plate's a hot plate and it should work. It seems to have a thermostat inside it or some kind of a switch, but the little red light's not coming on. It's live at the moment. It's a real basic one. Fine elements. Model SDA 1051. 1500 watt. It's got made in China, but it's got a Manchester postcode on it. The date code for looks like 2016. So it's a few years old. Um, I'm going to plug it out. I've tried, I've tried changing the fuse in it already. That didn't do anything for it. So let's just see if I can. Open it up simply. Looks like a 10 mil. Which it is. It's really well on there. There we go. It's um it's unplugged now. It's the bottom off. It's been used by the looks of things. The other thing that I noticed um, is that the cable, there's no protector there on the end of the cable, so it might be something there. That's the switch. See the little contactor coming on and off there. Um, some kind of a heat sensor thing in there, I'd say. You can check that for continuity. I love it when you get in here and the cables are always really small. That's just the way they are. Let's check that for continuity. Looks like that heat thing might not be working. That might be our fault, so we could just bypass that, of course. Wouldn't be safe. There's a little part there, I'd say that's all that's wrong with it. And the other thing to check is is power coming in. So it's live now. Let's put the voltage on to AC. And it should just be these two here. We'll blow it up. Now. Don't want to arc it to earth. That's what I'm kind of trying to do is with one hand. Nothing coming in there. Which way does it go? Need to go from this one here over to this one here. Yeah, there's power coming in as far as there, so it looks like it's not getting. Let's just try it here. Yeah, there's power getting to that element, so it looks like that little sensor is the deal that's gone wrong. Let's uh, unplug it there. Don't know what's in here, I'm guessing a little terminal block or something like that. I don't know what this is, so let's unscrew it and see if we've got any codes or anything on it. Now I happen to have a really mouldy old one of these outside on the scrap heap. Mm, we've got some codes on it there. POBF216 216 degrees Yeah, AUPO is probably the brand name BF216 I'm going to take apart the other one and see if I can get this one going So this one I found and it's so grim that I just didn't want to do anything with it I could clean up but I just I don't need it and I thought 
I just cut the cable off it and then I'm gonna scrap it. But it's the same brand. It's a double hot plate rather than a single. Same Manchester postcode on it. So let's get in there. See all these dribbles and stuff on the back. It's pretty grim. But I'm guessing the parts are going to be the same, which is kind of neat. Oh, it's welded shut. Right. So the back was welded on with greasy goo. Um, the date code on this one's 2016 and the other one was also 2016. So this one's only a month out from the other one, but it's completely different inside. So we had that little heat shielded thing there. This one has got that same heat sh heat uh, unit on the live coming in, I think. I've cut the cable on it, so I've cut the cord on it, so I don't know what's going on here. But uh, I presume whatever's under that heat shrink is the same. It's not though. It's a bit smaller. It's that little deal. There doesn't seem to be these same uh, units which is weird like that one there is quite clean but look at this one's like rusty and <laughs> burned out this side looks clean compared to that side but you know the cables are completely charred and burnt but, like the little actuators or little thermo or was it bimetallic strips are working in there you know so hmm I'm guessing it's just whatever that there, there's some kind of heat heat thingy in here and if I cut that off and just put that on it should work I'm gonna cut the heat shrink off that and have a look at it so I've cut the heat shrink off and on the live side it's just a little brass it's not a spade connector but I don't know what kind of connector you'd call that it just plugs in there so there's no heat heat sensor on this one at all so if that's the case then maybe I could just bypass it on that one and it should work if you, you know, just heat up to infinity and beyond, like Buzz Lightyear, maybe. Don't know. Let's, uh, let's just do it and see. So all I've done is I've just wired this straight through. I'll just put that over like that. And it will do nothing. I'll find out about this inside on the computer. But it won't be worth getting a part for this. For me to buy this part here and have it delivered in England probably is a similar price to the whole build price of this thing delivered to England for the person who's bringing them in which is kind of crazy that's just a little connector block underneath that plastic I just unscrewed it to see what was in there if there was anything interesting I find it interesting that these two machines which on the outside are like matching matching buddies made a month apart could be so not so different but quite different inside like it's similar cabling similar light similar switch but then other things like one of the the, way, the fact that this has a little heat heat sensor thing on it or a heat uh, protector what's it called a circuit protector or a thermo and i don't know tell me what it is in the comments you might have guessed i'm not an electrician but i'll give it a go Put that back on. I don't need to put the bottom on to see if it works. So I'll finish screwing this back together. I've tightened up those. Turn it upside down. Close my eyes and pray. Plug that in. It's on over there. The light's on. It's live, but it's earth, so we're okay. Oh, it's making some crackling noises in there. So that's the little switch. So I'm guessing this switch should relay on and off as it gets hot and, you know, come up and down to... You can hear the element humming there. It's getting hot. There will be a point where this will be foolish. So uh, let's put it to... So it's, it's, it's now moved up the line there. So in a moment it should click in and out on two. Oh, 
I thought this would be useful to have in the garage if I was heating up old type glue or something like that. I don't know that it is because that's not something I've ever done, but very occasionally you'd get called for heat. And what I typically do is take out a gas burner, which is, you know, less safe. Ooh, it's making noises. It's quite hot. Like, it's all relative, I guess. There it is, it's clicked out. It might click on itself. It makes, it's making that kind of... There, there it is. It's clicking on and off. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, I'll have a look at this. It won't be in this video or I might post a little bit towards the end. Actually, I'll look it up now and put it into the video and tell you what this thing is. Whatever it is, it's broken. Yeah, it's just clicking on and off quite nicely there on two. I'll turn it up a bit and see, see how it goes on three while I'm googling this thing. Yeah, so it's a thermal fuse. That was the word that I couldn't think of. Um, you can get them from China, two for just over two quid, and that means makes them about a pound each delivered. I reckon this is probably sold for maybe eight quid, sixteen quid, something like that. But whenever it's coming, whenever it leaves China, it's about a pound, which is crazy. Um, it begs the question: Why did the fuse fail? You know, it seems to be working fine now, but the fuse failed, so it probably overheated. And if it did overheat, well then, that's not great. Um, but I'm just going to leave it off and write on it with a pen that there's no thermal fuse and not to leave it unattended. And that'll make me happy, and that'll do it. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that repair. It's a bit, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ooh, it's really hot. See you later.